Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel Phone Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the tips, tricks, hidden features and settings for Chrome video of the Nothing Phone 1. So guys, this is the AGB 256GB variant of the Nothing Phone 1. So actually the settings of this phone is really minimized. So this would be a most of the part. That means 70% of this video would be a settings for Chrome video. That means this doesn't have the fancy features as we've seen on the Fanta Choice, MIUI and uh, much more. So let me start from the um, really interesting feature that would be the Glyph interface. So over here, this is the Glyph interface. That means if you're receiving any notifications, incoming calls, the back Glyph interface would be lightened up. So this is the area which we select the ringtones. So this has a default view of the ringtones over here. So you can select from So you can see, you can select your favorite ones from here. My favorite is the Radiate one. So you can see. So you can select your favorite. So you can have that uh, ringtone over here. And actually it would give a nice haptic feedback in accordance. That means really in sync with that ringtone. Also you can select the uh, notifications too. So a really cool feature. See really nice one and the next feature over here is the flip to glyph that means if your phone is in normal mode and you need to turn on this feature and you need to just place your phone like this and all your upcoming incoming calls as well as the uh, notifications would be muted and only the glyph interface will be lighted up so that we that means the essential feature no mute absolutely the phone will be in mute and the uh, lighting would be done so that's a really cool one so that's the flip to glyph feature on the nothing phone one so you can enable it from the glyph interface itself so next move to the system area so here we can see the gestures and upon here you can see the system navigation so by default it would be on the uh, gesture navigation if you want to have the three button uh, navigation you can also select and also in the gesture navigation you can select how much area should be sensitive of your back tab that means on left tab as well as the right swipe so i would show you so gestures uh, system navigation and you can select see back sensitivity you can select all the way up to the maximum of this area and either or on the right area so you can select both of them for the max to high for the maximum sensitivity so you can just do like this or you can uh, be a precise location so i would uh, really prefer to be on the center that means uh, that's a really good one so you can see it works really fine and the next one is quickly open camera that means you need to just double press the power button for quickly opening the camera so i am just doing double press so you can see quickly opens the camera ui that is also a really cool one and next is related to that lock screen that means tap to show lock that means it would be a double tap to show feature it's renamed to another one and lift it to show lock screen that would be a raised wake feature so these two of them are really nice and we have already seen the flip to glyph feature and apart from that, we have a dedicated game mode, which we can you make use of the mistrench prevention. That means prevention of the accident touches in the games and all. And also we can add the games to this game mode and all from the listed section of apps. Okay. So apart from that, we have the multiple user section, which we can add guest and allow access to particular uh, section of the files and all. So you can make use of that also. So set it up the multiple user section. And apart from that, let's move to the display area. So display, we have the auto brightness section over here and we have the lock screen over here. So on lock screen, we have the privacy section. So over here, you can select either show all notification on the lock screen, don't show any notification on the lock screen or just show the basic notification. So you can set it up. So let me uh, switch to the don't show all notification lock screen. So because lock screen is uh, an area which I prefer not to show the personal notifications and also i just disable it and you can even add text on the lock screen so i would be adding gold is allow so saved and then just lock my phone and you can see at the bottom you can see gold is low the text is arrived over there and apart from that we can select the new notification reminder weather info always show basic info of the lock screen and also whether to enable or disable and we have seen these two tap to uh, show as well as the raised wake feature we have enabled on the uh, previous system section also okay so that was uh, regarding that uh, uh, locks display and apart from that we have dark theme so i will just disable to show you the uh, white one so this is so i do prefer uh, the dark theme because of the oled display and all and we can select the phone size see 
and also we can select the display size that means the banner size okay and apart from that we have a color section actually we have two options we have the alive and standard i would prefer alive because alive is more vibrant such standard is uh, like a natural one and alive is like a vibrant one so it would be i would recommend to keep it on the vibrant itself that means alive itself okay and we have an option called also to set up the color uh, temperature also so you, you may you can make use of that but i do pre i don't prefer toggle that much and we have the night light that means i uh, i would say it has an eye comfort shield or blue light filter so if you are using the phone in the night you should definitely turn this feature also and we have the next thing that's a 120 hertz refresh rate so smooth display so you can just disable this one to use the 60 hertz so you can instantly feel the difference and if enabled it will be on the 120 hertz okay so that's it regarding the display so next is the customization section and actually the customization section is also really minimalized you can see wallpaper and style you can see the color palette feature as we seen on the samsung fonts and all you can see so currently this is the uh, colors and you can see i'm selecting another one and you can see the color has just changed and you can set it up to any another color as your personal preference you can see so really cool one and you can enable wallpaper scrolling also and you can select a few icon packs also if you add much but you need to uh, download a few of them so that's it regarding the customization so really minimize only the basic features not much uh, junk of features are uh, seen on this nothing phone one just basic and minimalized okay and now next is regarding the sound and vibration you can see this is that area actually when talking about the touch sounds you can you can enable or disable the touch sounds as well as you can select the vibration so you can see a touch haptic feedback that means if you are tapping anything or doing um, back taps you can uh, receive a nice haptic vibration in the world so that's the feature regarding the vibration over here so that's it regarding the sound and vibration and the next is regarding the security and you can see you can have the fingerprint so let me type so you can have uh, set up the fingerprints over here and uh, and actually i would i didn't like the fingerprint portion actually i would uh, suggest on this area because actually it is more feasible for my one hand user and actually she's really bottom almost close to chin but still works perfectly fine but i am not preferring that means so, but actually if you're used used to it for two three days then it would be okay for you and next is to regard the face unlock and actually i would mention actually face unlock algorithm is not that great as we seen on the one plus and other phones actually algorithm needs some more improvement actually if the phone is directly straight up by the face then only it works and actually if the phone is tilted a bit then it is not works every time so we have some minor issues regarding that and actually uh, skip that uh, thing and let's talk about the face unlock and we have the skip swipe to unlock that means if you are in if you are uh, in the lo lock screen and if your face is recognized then you no need to swipe for the home screen so instantly uh, even if your face is recognized instantly it would go automatically to the home screen so that's a really cool feature okay so you can make use of that too and also we can see unlock with mask so that's as we seen on the iphones we have the unlock with mask so actually this feature is also over here so that's also nice okay then we have the digital uh, well-being and parental controls which we can control the amount of time we are using the app so you can see so if you're having this uh, any of the apps would be you would be using would be listed over here and you can see a timer option over here and you can set up the time uh, so i would be only using this app for just five minutes and you can instantly set up five minutes and in after i mean the app would be automatically closed with closed with a warning and all so you can make use of that one also and we have a few more features over there and we have the privacy feature over here. You can see the privacy dashboard, which all applications are using, which all uh, location features, camera, microphone, and also you can have the entire uh, access of the phone over here. Okay. And next, you can see the battery. So we can see it doesn't show any battery percentage over here. So you need to turn on battery percentage so that you can see the battery percentage would be shown over here. And also, it is having the wireless power share feature that means you can make use of uh, your TWS and uh, you can do the reverse charging and all so that was also a cool feature which is over here so you can see battery share feature so and you can also set up the threshold because after 15 percent it should not charge any other phones because it's even for this phone only so you can make sure how after how much percent it should automatically turned off and all so you can make use of that uh, threshold limiter and all 
okay so that's the battery share feature and actually i would show you really quick see it is charging you can see the red blinker over here so that's the battery share feature that's also nice and you can have the battery saver feature also see and you can uh, set a schedule based on the percentage after 5% you automatically switch to most of the people I would think after 15% percentage they would be automatically switch to the power saving mode so actually I would recommend keeping it on the 15% percentage or even higher maybe according to your use and all okay so that was regarding the battery and we have the notification success also which is uh, one of the important features that means the notification history that means if you have deleted if you have received a whatsapp uh, notification that means what's the message from your friend and received in your notification but after that he deleted that message then how to retrieve that message then you just turn on the notification history on this phone and actually every each and every notification which would be cleared would be appear over here and if you accidentally clear all the notifications over here still it would be appear like the with the time time stamp and all so that's just a really cool feature and we have seen the conversations feature bubbles feature that means appear like the facebook messenger and also there are tons of features like that and we have some other features like allow notifications snoozing and notification dot on app icon actually it would be depends upon your personal preference and you can set it up the uh, features and all and the next thing is press and hold on the home screen and you can see the home settings and over here you can select the notification dots feature which we have already seen on the notification sections and add uh, immediately after installing the application does it need to uh, add the app icon to the home screen so it may, depends upon the options over here and we have the double tap to turn off the uh, phone that feature over here and on the left you can see you can see the google discover so if you doesn't want the google discover you can just turn off this one and you can see no more on the left so but i i do recommend to keep it turned on and uh, let's see we have some widgets features over here you can see i would recommend to keeping your widget like this one over here because this is a really cool one yes so you can see a really nice cool uh, widget for the clock and all and you can select which all uh, widgets which can be seen over here so you can see select the widget which you want and just add so that's a really cool one and apart from that we have the customization which you already seen on the customization section and all okay now let's move to the camera and camera ui is also really minimalized we have the slow motion in uh, one x as well as in 2x and we have the video mode and on the video mode we can select the stabilization on or off and as well as we can select the uh, resolution 1080 at 60 fps 4k at 30 uh, 1720 uh, at 60 or 30 so you can make use of that and you can even select uh, that means you can turn like this on as a what we call as a light effect apart from the flash so that also that is also a really nice one wow Okay, that's on video and we can take its own ultra wide normal and the 2x and we have the photo mode over here and we have the dedicated 50 mb mode which you can tap and make use of here so 50 mb would be much more uh in detail if you compare with the normal one so i would show an example really quick so let me show you the files and cameras so actually you can see this image is approximately you can see its image is 17.26 mb and the same exact image i would is taken on the uh, 12 mb is just 4.78 mb so and this image is really crisp and clear you can see still the image is not that pixelated but actually on the normal 12 mb the color vibrancy is really good but actually the pixel is the, uh, the photo is really pixelated even higher okay so that was the 50 mb as well as the 12 mb mode and we can have some more filters as we've seen over here and uh, and we can have the aspect ratio as well as the motion photo that means motion photo means if we can capture a second behind and a second after we capture the photo that means that all option is also available and we have the google lens feature also and we have the portrait mode which we can select the bokeh effect and all along with bokeh effect we can select some beauty filters effects and all and in more we have a time lapse panoramic macro mode dedicated macro mode and export that means the pro mode is also available over here so that's it so guys that's it regarding the nothing for one tips tricks hidden features and settings for one so that's all for today signing off it's for mania